Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. At this point, we've got success coaches in our company who are putting out content on a daily basis to help you with your business. Now, if there's something that you would like to talk to me about, or if you want to get on a on a free 15 to 20 minute call, you visit the description uh, in this video, you will find my Canonly link. You'll be able to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call where we can jump on Zoom, see where you are with your business, see where, we, where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your business. Now, if you don't want to do that and all you want to do is simply send me an email, you can do that as well. Visit the description uh, in this video and you will find my email. It's make money coaching sports at gmail.com. I make it a mission to respond to all emails that I get. So don't hesitate. Make sure you reach out to me so you don't stay stuck with your business. Now, what I want to talk about today is being held back by other, others. Okay. So in front of me, I've got a, a word sheet and it says, are you being held back? held by others right so it should say held back by others okay but what i want to talk about is misinformation right mm -hmm. now when we start a business and when we become business owners there's a lot of people that want to give you information right there's a lot of people that want to give you information about what to do what not to do how to do it um and sometimes what happens is a lot of it is misinformation, right? The people that are giving you this information haven't got any credibility and they don't have an actual business and they aren't doing what you are doing, right? And sometimes what this does is this holds us back because it limits us uh, not just physically moving forward, but it, it holds us back mentally from making certain decisions to grow the business, right? When you are in this type of industry it's a very competitive industry but it's also an industry full of opportunity right every single year the sports training industry gets bigger and bigger okay because more parents are looking into sports to get their child more motivated to get their child more physically active to get their child more confident uh, to get their child just doing something and away from a uh, the screen of a television or away from their their games right their console their computer in their computer their tablet right parents are looking for sports as the solution to a lot of their their child's um i wouldn't say problems but just to get them more active and engaged and doing something that gets them away from sitting down all day okay so this industry is going to continue to get bigger, right? Even though we are going to be heading into a recession, right? Wherever you are in the world, you, we will be going into a recession. But even though we are going into one, there's still going to be multiple opportunities to grow in this industry because parents will continue to invest in their child and they'll continue to look for ways to get their child active and just more confident and better okay now i want to share with you three things that you need to be you need to take in con consideration when you're taking in information from others okay? because sometimes as business owners we love the strategies we love the techniques we love to consume but we sometimes that information that we're consuming holds us back from implementing and growing and moving forward right so being held back by others will be your biggest challenge as a business owner okay because i know personally when i started my business i had a lot of ideas i had a lot of plans i had i wanted to do so many things but then all it took is one person to speak something negative and say, do you know what, this isn't going to work, or there's already a lot of people doing this, or or this, or that, that in my head, I felt, do you know what, okay, let me, let me, I'm not going to do it because it might not work, right, 
But essentially, this is your business. You make the decisions. If you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, you don't do it. Okay. If you want to go quickly with your business, you go quick. If you want to take it slow and take baby steps, you take baby steps. Right. Do not be held back from what other people are telling you. Okay. Because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, what people tell you is misinformation. It's information that they have received and they've passed on. Okay. And most of the time, people aren't in your situation. Okay? People aren't in your situation. They might have been in a similar situation and they might give you advice, which is great. But no one's going to be in the exact same situation as you, right? So you've got to find ways and you've got to take mental steps to, to think, do you know what? I've got to make my own decisions and I've got to take my own risks with my business. Okay. So the first one is look for warning signs with people. Okay. So when you are a business owner, again, you're going to get a lot of information thrown at you. Sometimes even the gurus that you're following online, they're giving you bad information. They sometimes, you know, you're going to find people online that are telling you to save money. You're going to tell, you're going to find people that are telling you to spend money. You're going to find people that are telling you to, to use credit cards. You're going to find people that are telling you not to use credit cards, right? There's a lot of information there. So what I want you to do is look for warning signs. Okay, what are people saying? What are people doing? Okay, so if you come into contact with someone who's telling you not to start a business, right? Think to yourself, right? Why is that person telling me not to start a business? Is it because maybe they started a business and it didn't work? Is it because they wanted to start a business, but they were too scared to start the business? Is it because they they themselves are getting misinformation and they don't they've never had a business but you know they're con they're consuming uh, the news they're consuming negativity and that negativity is then getting thrown out to you right so look for warning signs with people what are people saying to you what are people doing okay and why are people reacting the way they are okay because normally that is what will limit you from not just business growth but personal growth as well okay so look for warning signs this is something i've become um very conscious about right before i would just stroll like through life my day-to-day -day, just living in my own world okay? but then what i slowly started to realize is that if you live in your own world you li you're not living in this world Okay, and in this world, unfortunately, there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of people that want to to hurt you. Okay, so we've got to be very aware of what the warning signs. What are people saying? What are people doing? How are people doing it? How are people saying it? Okay, and the more aware you become, the better. Okay, you can react, and also the less you will be held back. Okay, because if someone's giving you bad information then you yourself, if you find, you know what, that's a warning sign. If they're giving me bad information, then they might not be a person that I need around in my ecosystem. So I want to distance them away and I just want to focus on myself, okay? So look for the warning signs with people. That's number one. Number two, evaluate the accuracy of the information people are giving you. So... This touches a little bit on the first bit, but, you know, people are going to give you misinformation. Don't start a business. A business is too expensive. Uh, there's too many competitors in, in the area. Um, it's very risky to start a business. 95% of businesses fail. Um, you're not experienced enough to work with clients. You don't have a degree in business. You've got no business experience. You've got, you've got no de uh, university degree. You've got no coaching experience, right? There's so much information that people are going to be giving you, right? Evaluate the accuracy on it, okay? And the only way you can evaluate the accuracy is doing your research on that person, right? What If that person is telling me not to start a business, why are they telling me that? 
Okay, this goes back to the warning signs. Okay, and normally, what people tell you is 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 wrong. Okay, not most of the time, what people say is inaccurate. Okay, just because what they say to you probably came from someone else, but that person changed that information when they gave it to that person. So it's like a it's like this um, whisper game, right? When you get in a circle and you start whispering, like the, the whisper starts from one person, it goes, they start whispering it to, there's a name of it, but I can't remember at the moment. But you're in a circle and one person whispers something to the first person, that first person whispers it to the second. And by the time it gets all the way back to the first person, it's, a com it's completely different to what it originally was. Okay. And that is why we've got we have to evaluate the accuracy of the information people are giving you. Okay, if people are telling you the economy is bad, then evaluate it for yourself. Right, go outside, go into the real world, and have a look to see if the economy is bad. Right, I get information all the time about we're going into a recession, the economy is bad, parents aren't spending money, but. I work in this industry and I see that people are still spending money on, on sports. They're still spending money on, on soccer birthday parties. They're still, you know, they're still buying um, merchandise for their kids. They're still going to, to soccer games, like professional soccer matches. They're still spending lots and lots of money uh, on soccer. So that means that, Yes, okay, we are going, we are in a recession, but maybe parents are prioritizing where they're spending their money. Maybe the money that they wanted to they were spending on something, they don't spend that now, but they just focus solely on one thing. Okay. So evaluate the accuracy of the information that you're getting from people. Okay. And decide for yourself whether it's accurate or inaccurate. Right. And the third one is decide where you want to go from here. Now, I make it my, my mission, shall we say, and I make it a task to analyze my day every single day, right? It comes to the end of the day. I like to sit down, have a, a cup of tea next to me, and I like to make notes on how my day went. Did I reach my full potential that day? Um, did I waste time on these activities? Did I... Did I reach out to someone new? Did I make new connections? Did I do something to, to help grow and expand my business? Right, what did I do? So I just, what I sit down is I sit down with a notepad and I'll make maybe five to six lines just analyzing how the day went, right? What were the, what were the good parts of the day? What were days where parts of the day where I think, do you know what? I was, a, I felt a little bit negative. I felt a little bit held back. Um, I could have done this a little better, right? So I constantly analyze everything I do. And that's not just, and that's not because I am, um, I am different or, you know, I'm I overthink things. I like to see, do you know what? This is what happened because the way I see it is our day-to-day -day as business owners, it goes really fast. Right. The hours in the day, sometimes it feels like there's not enough hours in the day. So what I like to see is I like to sit down and say, right, OK, this is the time I woke up. This is what I ate. This, did I exercise? No. Why did I not exercise? Because I didn't make an effort. Um, so I like to break down what I did, analyze it and see, right, what can I do better the next day to just fulfill my potential? OK, because we don't as humans, we only get one life. Yeah, you vote you only got one life and you've got to try and live it the fullest and the happiest you can right and that means enjoying having a business right enjoy the business side of having a business enjoy the coaching side of the business but do things every single day that are going to going to make you a better business owner don't waste time don't overthink things right and that's why I made this I wanted to make this video because you know, every single day, and we're living in times now that 
if you go onto the onto news channels all throughout the world, right, there's a lot of negativity being being thrown at people. Right, there's a lot of scare, um, there's a lot of frustration, there's a lot, you know, the, the cost of living's going up, people's bills are getting more expensive, people are losing their jobs, you know, it's 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 a very tough time. But if we can focus on what we need to focus and not get distracted by our environment, then as business owners, we can grow and our business will excel and get to the next level. Okay. So Hopefully this video has helped. Again, if you want to reach out to me, please do so. Visit the Canonly link in the description. You can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, or you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As I said, every single day we're putting out content to help you with your business, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.